My name's John Hardy. I'm a, a Head of Department of Molecular Neuroscience at University College London in the Institute of Neurology. The symposium here today, well, it's called, it's really about fluid flow in the brain. You, you know, we've been very keen in Alzheimer's disease to understand how amyloid is cleared from the brain, but what we've actually concentrated is on the biochemical ways that amyloid is cleared, you know, enzymes which break amyloid down and so on. And what this meeting is about, and really it's the first meeting of this type, is how physical clearance of amyloid might be important along blood vessels and out through the CSF and lymph nodes. So it's really the first time we've been thinking about the physical methods that amyloid might be cleared from the brain. Well, I think it, to highlight that as a possibility, we've, as I said, we've all been focusing on the biochemical methods of clearance. Uh, and we should be focusing to some extent also on the physical methods. And as you know, we're broadcasting this event. And in fact, it was massively oversubscribed. So I think that those uh, things show that people are realizing that this is an important issue. And this is the first time that all the people working in this area have come together. So I think it's an important meeting from that perspective. Well, I mean, the biggest, no doubt, the biggest development has been the treatment, the, the successful treatment of spinal muscular atrophy. That's a rare disease and it's been treated by basically an antisense treatment. And that's the first time that understanding disease mechanism has led directly to treatment. And so that, I think, is the most important, the most important finding over the last few years. With regard to Alzheimer's disease, I think we're still waiting. Uh, we're still waiting for um, mechanistic therapies. But seeing another disease, even if it's a rare disease, have successful therapy, that's something that that's uh, influencing the field. I think. I think that the, um, the consensus, that doesn't mean it's right of course, but the consensus view of the solanuzumab trial was that it might have been the right drug but it was given too late and that's also true of the base inhibitor trial which failed from Merck, that these were perhaps good drugs but given too late in the disease process. So there's increasing evidence on getting earlier treatment. The aducanumab trial that we have to remember that was that looks exciting I agree but we have to remember it was only a phase one trial and phase one trials have looked good before so I'm although I was very excited by the aducanumab results I think it would be inappropriate to get to you know really put one's hopes only on that one wants I think to see more positive results before one gets too optimistic Well, I think there will be more antisense therapies for, for a start. I think there's a Huntingdon trial going on now, an anti-Huntingdon trial, which is exciting. And, and if that works, I think you'll, we'll see more and more antisense type trials, rather similar to the successful SMA one. In Alzheimer's disease, one could imagine antisense trials there too. I, I really hope that aducanumab and some of the other trials which are going ahead now will be successful. And if, if they're not, I mean, we'll know that in the next year. If they're not, then I think we were, were in for a bit of a tough slog in Alzheimer's disease. We have to go, to some extent, back to the drawing board.